what's up royals welcome back to my channel if you're new welcome i'm princess nitra in today's video i'm going to be showing you how to grow tomatoes in a container i'm going to show you how to pot them up how to fertilize them and all that good stuff so let's go ahead and get right into this video Alright, so when planting your tomato plants, you want to make sure that you're picking the right container. So for this tomato, this is a sweet million. So this is an indeterminate tomato, meaning this tomato will grow and grow and grow until your first frost and then it'll die. So with that being said, this tomato is going to grow very large. You can get up to six feet tall. So for this type of tomato, I want to make sure that I have a big enough container to support the plant. So this is a 15 gallon grow bag. I got this off Amazon. So if you're interested in this specific grow bag, I will link it down in the description box. I made my own soil this year. I am creating a much bigger garden. So to save on cost, I decided to go ahead and make my own soil. So if you are interested in this soil, I will be making a video on how to make it. It is a nice soil and yeah it's great for pots so with all that said we are going to go ahead and pot this baby up when you're potting your tomato plant this tomato is super long super long um it's been in the cup for a while i started this on 315 and it's time to get this potted up and the cool thing about tomato plants is they grow roots all along the stem so this is great because this plant is pretty big so what i'm gonna do is i'm just gonna pinch off all of these lower leaves and leave this top part so all of all of these lower leaves will be pinched and i'm gonna bury this tomato plant about you know a third of the way up um, and it's gonna grow roots all along the stem and make for a nice strong healthy um, tomato plant so we'll go ahead and do that twist off those stems just twist them off and then this last one this is the last one I'm gonna twist off and this is what it looks like a nice tomato plant okay so moving on to our planting hole. I'm going to bury this tomato plant pretty deep. So probably I'm going to dig about about a foot deep. And you can just go ahead and measure it by placing your plant in there and seeing if it's deep enough. That's not deep enough. So we're going to dig a little deeper. Just place the soil along the edges and that will help you to dig a little further down into the planting hole so we're gonna go ahead and put some goodies into our planting hole and when I say planting hole basically it is what it is a planting hole okay so the first thing that you want to add to your planting hole is going to be compost if you have it definitely add it to the bottom of the planting hole compost just helps soil to absorb and retain nutrients and that's definitely what you want for your tomato plant you don't want it to dry out or anything like that so yes i'm just gonna go ahead and grab a handful of this nature care really good compost just add a handful to the bottom of your planting hole like that and just give it a little mix okay so the next thing we're going to add to our um, planting hole is something called bone meal and this is high in phosphorus and when you're growing tomatoes Phosphorus is a very important ingredient. Um, if you can see on here, one, two, three, this is NPK. Phosphorus is the P, so that would be the, 20, the number 25. It's super high in phosphorus. And what phosphorus is gonna give your plants is a good source of calcium, and it's gonna produce healthy roots and fruits, and it is also going to resist a blossom end rot. If you know what blossom end rot is, that is when 
um, your tomatoes just have like a black hole at the bottom of them and that's from a lack of calcium so this is definitely going to give you some calcium some phosphorus this is a slow release so this will not be available to your plant immediately but it will be in four months in which your plant is definitely going to need that nutrients down the line when it's starting to set fruit and things like that so we're just going to add a handful of bone meal to our planting hole okay and that's perfectly enough you don't want to overdo it just sprinkle it in And then you can go ahead and just kind of mix it in. And that is definitely enough. And then lastly to our planting hole, we're going to add some worm castings. The worm castings are great for container plants because they improve the structure of the soil. They anchor the plant and they provide nutrients to the plant. We're going to also add a handful of worm castings to our potting hole. And you're just going to sprinkle it in nicely. And this is going to get your tomato plant off to a great start. And you can just kind of work it into the soil. And worm castings is also a slow release fertilizer. So um, this will be available to your plant um, once the soil breaks down the worm castings. Now that we have our hole nice and nutritious we're gonna go ahead and take our tomato plant and place it into the soil the roots on this plant are looking really nice just go ahead and give them a little tease at the bottom to get them off to a good start okay and we're gonna go ahead and place this in if it feels like your hole is a little too shallow Go ahead and dig a little deeper. Okay, so place that in and go ahead and cover it back down. Okay. We are just going to put a layer of compost right on top of the soil. And what this is going to do is when this tomato plant is making new roots from burying the stem, it's going to branch out from all sides. So when this mulch is watered, it is going to send nutrients down to the roots of this tomato plant. And it's just going to make it even stronger, give it more nutrients and all of that good stuff. So just put a nice layer over top. If you have enough compost to do this, if you don't, it is fine. You can skip this step and just um, fertilize when it's necessary. But this is just an extra step just to make sure your plant gets what it needs. The last step for your container plant would be um, if it's hot in your area to keep the moisture in this in this container you would want to put mulch over top of this um, just to keep that moisture in so that your tomato plant doesn't dry out i don't have any mulch at the moment but i will be going to buy some and i will be mulching the top of this plant after you've got your plant set up you're going to want to go ahead and water it in with a liquid fertilizer and what the liquid fertilizer is going to do is going to give your plant nutrients that it needs right now um, this is readily available pour it over your plant mix one tablespoon with one gallon of water pour it over the leaves and over the soil and it'll give it that nutrients that it needs to grow nice and strong and we'll go ahead and do that
All right, so we have our plant watered in. I'm gonna go ahead and leave this plant right here. I'm not gonna put it directly into the sun because I did just transplant it and I don't want it to be in too much um, distress. So we're gonna leave it here uh, maybe for a day and then we'll put it out in the sun and you should have a nice healthy tomato plant. So just a few care tips for your tomatoes. You want to make sure that you are keeping them water. Do not let your tomatoes dry out. And you want to fertilize your tomatoes every 10 to 14 days. Um, and that's pretty much it. Keep them water, keep them fertilized. Make sure that you're feeding your plant so that you get good yield. So that is the best way to pot up your tomato plant. If you want a simpler way, to pot your tomato plants. I did a video on that last year, um, so I'll link that down below, and you can check that video out if you don't have all these products. They're not absolutely necessary, but they definitely help the growth of your plant and, um, you know, getting some nice juicy fruits. So this video is gonna be one of three videos that I will make during the season. This is gonna be the first video. I'll do another video on how to stake your tomato plant and then the last one will be the harvest. If you have any questions, make sure you leave them down in the description box. I will put everything that I used in this video down in the description so you can check it out. And make sure you give me a big thumbs up, like this video, and I'll see you in my next one. Bye Royals.